Rugby League, the greatest game of all. Here's Moninga! Moninga! Oh, the big blow! But lately, it's come under attack from external forces, threatening to crush its very existence. So the NRL has tasked two legends of the game with a secret mission to make Rugby League really, really, really good again. Each week, we'll conduct secret tests on the playing group and meet with experts to learn and observe. For our first episode, we're testing players' patience with a creepy superfan. That means going deep, deep undercover. And our targets, Tom and Jake Travojevic. Why did we pick them? Well, you might remember this. And you get to do it with your brother. How's that feel? Yeah, mate, you would know the feeling, mate. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, <laughs> he did nothing for you, but luckily Jake gets to help me. F***ing hilarious, Tom. <laughs> Ever wondered what payback looks like? It's an arsehole fan named Dave from DY. Manly! Do, do, do. Manly! Do, do, do. Manly! So where would I find the Turbo Brothers? Where else than Brookvale Rebel Sports? Just doing a media appearance for the Manly fans. Beautiful. Do you want a hat? Good on ya. But enough of this driving and stuffing around. It was time to make first contact. Look at him. Poor old Turbo Tommy has got no f***ing idea. You beauty. On my second lap through the store, it was time to get weird and creepy with old Shaky Jakey boy. But would he go so far as to sign my adult magazine? <laughs> Sign the mag. Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Can you sign? Sure. That's all it. That's fine. Jake, you old ragamuffin, you. <laughs> Time to up the ante. Little did the boys know, we'd employed the services of our very own Hannah Hollis, who was there to interview. <laughs> the boys for Fox Sports News. All right, I'm here with Manly star Jake Trevojevic. Jake, tell me what we're doing Manly. here this afternoon. Oh, just down, yeah, obviously. Um, come on, yeah, Manly. Them all, um, hopefully all the kids come down and sign up to play, you know, junior rugby league, obviously. It's a, Desi's a back. Great area, and it's, um, yeah, hopefully as many kids as possible can sign up. Desi's up. back, back yeah, again. Desi's <laughs> back, back again. Bye-bye, Trent. Yeah, give back to community. I think they like Tom. They like Tom. No yeah, bullshit. Go on, Jake. I thought you two must know him because he must go to all the games. Nah, I've never seen him. That is a super fan. Wait, if I've ever seen one. After torturing poor old Jake, it was time to give Tommy Boy some attention. Oh, you go. Go on, Tom. Go on, Tommy Turbo. <laughs> And after pestering Tom for an inappropriate amount of time, I decided to go back inside to continue the stitch up with Jake. But it seems old Buffett's not as silly as he looks. Yeah, I'm like, yes. Don't don't tell Tom, keep it under our hats. Sworn to secrecy, Jake was on board. But poor old Tommy, well, he was as naive as a newborn baby. Thanks for your time, Tom, and, and good luck this season. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Ross. Do you have, um, like, is this normal? No, it's not. It's I was excuse me, guys. Fans like that. Like they hang around. The magazine in the front, too, so is. What's the magazine? Look, you've got lots of people's magazine in the front. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tom. And for the record, viewers, I do read People magazine, but only for the stories. Now with Jake the Snake in our corner, it was time to start the final phase of our plan. Little did Tom know, his older brother Jake had given us the keys and location of their car. And while the boys shook hands, kissed babies and old ladies, we set up our hidden cameras. 
Now all we had to do was wait. And it wasn't long before we got word that they were headed to the car. Oh, jeez. Here they come. Hope Tom doesn't take a swing. Here we go. Shit. So where are we going to go this year? <laughs> Shit! Good. <laughs>